hello Aries. I hope you're doing so, so wonderful today. Welcome to your April love reading. We're going to start with a timeline just to see what could possibly be coming up next. I'm going to move this. Yeah, we'll see what's coming up next. We got my coffee here. Did I chug it and now I'm shaking? Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, I'm Alex if you don't know me and if you do know me welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here yeah you guys can tell I chugged a freaking coffee okay let's go what's coming up for Aries this April in love let's get a timeline Ooh. so I'm gonna tell you this right now get a little light a little light do I use my my makeup mirror as a ring light yeah I do I'm going to tell you this right now. If you've been dealing with someone that you know is like a menace, they're still in that energy. They have not changed. And they're definitely going to try to make a comeback. So I think that we do have another Mercury retrograde coming up. Honestly, I can't tell you when. And I keep being reminded of when it is and I can never remember. Yeah, and that's me. So, to start out April, we do have someone else in Narcissist here. So, we have someone probably from the past who is very selfish. I don't like to throw the term narcissist around too easily or too freely um, because, I mean, narcissists are incredibly, incredibly difficult. So, it doesn't matter though. Regardless, this person is very toxic, right? Just know that this person, when they do come back, they are still dealing with someone else or they just got out of a relationship with someone, which to me is kind of a red flag, right? And then we have Mercury Retrograde and Pets. Pets is my card for control issues. So I don't know. I, I feel like this person could be coming back during the next Mercury Retrograde, which I do feel like is soon. Just know that they want things to go their way, you know? And then we have Communicate and Caution here. So Spirit is saying... Be very, very careful about this person. Yes, they are coming back in for some communication, but they still have addiction issues here with challenges or with challenges and gambling. So, yeah, I feel like they're up to their same old, same old. And what is with all the noise in the background? What in the world is going on? Anyway, I live in an apartment complex, you know, let me live. Anyway, so yeah, they're up to their same old, same old. Overall, we do have liar and ear sign. So if you're not dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, this just means that they're coming in for communication that is not truthful, right? Because air signs are the communication element. So yeah, so there's your timeline, Jesus. Not the happiest thing in the world. So maybe this person is blocked, right? So let's see what's going on for those of you that aren't really wanting to deal with this person because they are blocked and there is no way for them to get to you, right? Right? So if you don't want to deal with this person, block them if you haven't already. Okay. For those of you that don't want to hear about a past person, let's see April for Aries in love. Ooh. Oh, very interesting. Okay. You know, I think that there are just a lot of you that are dealing with someone from the past. Like, let's call it for what it is, right? Um, this person is dealing with someone else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it. But um, we have the moon and the queen of wands reversed. Yeah. The moon is secrets. The queen of wands reversed can show up as the other, the other woman or the other person. And we just got third party in the timeline. We have the six of pentacles, which is equal give and take. And then we have the king of swords reversed. Again, that's another narcissist card. Um, you guys, this person is giving their energy, their resources, their whatever to somebody else, okay? And they are coming back in towards you. Now, like I said, they could have just gotten out of a relationship with this person. 
I would be very, very wary about getting back with this person. I do not like the King of Swords reverse. This is someone who's very, very narky. 444 on my clock as I say that now. I've seen that twice today, so that could be an important number for you. Um, yeah, this person is hiding a lot from you. They're hiding a lot. You have a lot of secrets. Overall, we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Cups reversed. Hmm. Knight of Cups, or Knight of Cups, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Um, the Knight of Pentacles reversed is someone who's very stagnant. They could be having money issues as well, but this is also someone who's not going to commit. And then the Ten of Cups reversed is like the happy family reversed, right? It's just, this person can't give you what you're looking for. I don't know why they're coming back in, so let's see why they're coming back in. Maybe you feel like you have unfinished business with this person. I didn't know. Why is this person coming back in? Oops. It's not flipped over. Oh, that's why. Okay. So for those of you that are just kind of in your own lane right now. Oh my God. Okay. So you're not even really worried about this person. You're not even worried about this person. You're a Nine of Pentacles energy. This is the happy single card. Um, you could be dating around or whatever, you know, but regardless, you're kind of just staying in your own lane, doing your own thing. Then we have the Ace of Cups here, which is a love offer, and the Hangman Reverse, which is coming out of stagnancy. This person sees that you're happy. This person sees that you're happy and they want a piece of that, just straight up. Overall, we have the world and the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is moving on to calmer waters, leaving the drama behind, and the world is starting over new. Yeah, uh, this person is still a walking tornado. This person is still causing a lot of chaos in their life. They see that you have your shit together, and they want a piece of that. They have not changed, so they are going to try to uproot you again. Uh, what signs I have here at the moment, we have Virgo, we have water, a little bit of air. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything else coming in for Aries besides this person? I feel like you don't even want this person. I mean, maybe you do, but I feel like you don't. There's some sort of cycle that needs to be finished out here. I'm not saying you have to get back together with this person, but I feel like this person needs to be told that they need to stay away or something. Like, it needs to be verbally said to them. Like, you can't keep doing this to me. With the Two of Swords reversed, uh, needing to make a decision, the Nine of Wands reversed, kind of running in place, and then the Ten of Pentacles reversed. I think you know in your heart of hearts that this person can't really offer you what you're looking for. Overall, we do have the star reversed and the page of wands, okay? So I think you're ready for something new. I think you're ready for something new. This person is coming back around because you need to close something out with them. They need to know that they can't just keep coming back out of nowhere. I mean, you can block them. You can block them. But for some reason, I feel like you need to... It's almost like you have them blocked on some places, but not on all places. It's like you have them blocked on Instagram, but not TikTok or, you know, it's something like that. Or you have them blocked on social media, but not your phone. So they can still get into contact with you. It's time to, it's time to block them all together. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Wow. Ace of Swords. <laughs> Ace of Swords is a Five of Swords reverse. An apology. Okay. All right. They're definitely coming in with an apology, so. Is there anyone new coming in for Aries? <laughs> okay. You know what's funny, Aries? I think that you are dating around, but I don't think anyone is really, like, satisfying you. I think that... I think April for you is going to be about letting this past person go and kind of working through that. I don't think that you're up in your head about it. I don't think that you're staying up at, uh, up until 3 a.m. crying your eyes out about it. But there's something about this relationship that needs to be closed out. Um, I do see that you're, I feel like you're trying 
to meet new people, but it feels very inauthentic for you. I feel like you like the attention you get from dating, but with all the offers that you've been getting, you do feel a little bit discontent. You feel bored. I feel like they're just not, you know, they're not the past person. You're trying to find that spark again. Overall, we do have the world and the page of wands. I feel like you're trying to have a new beginning and just no one's really like sparking your interest almost. I get it. I get it. I get it. You know, it's what it is. All right. Well, let's, let's get some advice. I just feel like there's really a past person in your energy. Ice card for Aries, please. Thank you. Yeah, goddess of the shadows. What you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. I feel like you may also be avoiding the healing from this person. I feel like, like I said, there needs to be something closed out. That does not mean that you have to get back together with this person. That doesn't even mean that you have to talk to this person. But there's something about this relationship that you can't let go. And it's keeping you from being able to really fully be present in these other dates or these other connections that you're trying to start. And so I, I just feel like April or in April, you either need to decide, you just need to decide what you want. You know, do you want that person back from the past or do you want to move on? And if you do want to move on, um, it's time to look at, it's time to look at the shadows of that relationship and heal them or do your best to heal them and work through them so that you can move forward with your life. But yeah, that's what I have for you, Aries. Honestly, not a bad reading. I don't think it was a bad reading. I think that you're out doing your own thing. I don't think that, I don't really see a lot of like depression and anxiety happening in April. I think that you're good. It's Aries season, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think you're good. It's just, there's some healing that needs to be done, which is totally normal. But thank you so much, Aries. I know this was a quick one, but you know, it is what it is. Let me know how April goes for you. Bye.